Good afternoon, everybody. Or morning. Still yet? I think it's still morning. <laughs> uh, just barely morning. It'll be afternoon very, very shortly. We are in, I think it's called Hazen, Arkansas. Or Hazen? I'm not sure. But as you can see, we're making ourselves a smoothie. Uh, we are on our 30 minute break. Had to blow the air horn at a US Express driver that was sitting in the fuel aisle in front of me because I just wanted to go take my break and I didn't want to do it in the fuel island. Kind of wanted to come over here and park and sit and, you know, put my food together. I've got some uh, shredded chicken and I've got rice and broccoli. I'm not going to put all the chicken in there. I'm just going to put just a little bit, you know, just enough. But if I can get this open, then I can use this little thing right here to put some pineapple into my schmoozy. We're going to have a nice, sweet little smoothie. I'm going to put some milk in here as well. 2% um, milk. I'm working my way down from whole milk. Um, I guess, I don't know. I guess skim milk is supposed to be the best. Uh, if that's not true, let me know. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the best. Um, you know what? I think that amount of that is good. I'm going to add a little bit more strawberries. So, let's bring this back here. Alright, and then... I... Okay, I did grab the milk. I was like, where did I put the milk? I know I grabbed the milk. I know I grabbed it. I just didn't know where I put it. So, went ahead and grabbed these fresh pineapples from uh, the Loves. I couldn't fit any more stuff in my freezer, so, um, you know, gotta pick up some things fresh, Some, you know, sometimes. That's okay. It's probably better fresh. But keeping strawberries fresh is really hard, and then finding mangoes is even harder. So, you take what you get sometimes. So, like I said, picked up some milk. And the milk I can just buy along the way. That way I don't have to worry about finding space in my fridge for like a half a gallon of milk. Um, because these will fit just fine. And then I don't have to worry about not using it. This is how I get my sweet fix, is uh, instead of sweets, I can have the natural stuff. And it's better. It's better for you, and it's just better. Anyways, so let's go ahead and plug this in. Uh, plug that in. And while this blends up... Alright, that is better. That is blending much more nicely now. Um, just had to get the large chunks out and whatnot. Shred this chicken up a little bit more. Put it all over our rice. And we have that. So, I'm not quite sure how many calories this would be, but I'm not calorie counting because I find that really unhealthy for me. It tends to make me uh, depressed and whatnot. So, Rather, what I'm going to do is try to eat less and less as I go um, and, and work on that and eat more of what I cook instead of uh, truck stop food, which I did last night. Um, I'll be honest, I had some tacos last night from the truck stop because, you know, why else? Why not? So, but we are on our way. we got to stop in... Um, West Memphis today because uh, I need to pick up the insurance, the new insurance cards for the truck. Alright. This can go back to the fridge. And this we can pop in the microwave. Right there. Three minutes and this is nicely blended. So that is wonderful. Oh, that was so quiet. I forgot I forgot how quiet my <laughs> microwave is. Sometimes I swear I don't even hear it doing its thing and I just freak out. 
So Seraphina and I were playing ball this morning, and um, she had to chase the ball underneath the fence because my silly self wasn't paying attention. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm so glad that's thick because otherwise it would have spilled. <laughs> oh lord. Oh that was that was a quick save. Thank you for being a thick smoothie. Oh, and this is why you that's that's why I actually added more strawberries. Um, yeah. Put this in here. And then once I'm done drinking this smoothie, ooh, that is really nice. Pineapple adds a nice sweetness to it. I mean, not that it wasn't sweet, because it is strawberries and mangoes and pineapples, but it still adds a nice sweetness to it. But yeah, once I'm done uh, with this smoothie, I just throw a little bit of water, a little bit of uh, soap, Dawn dish soap that I have right here and uh, throw this on top and put it back in the blender and it just cleans up so nicely it's not even funny anyways I'm gonna put this away real fast and I'll be right back okay so lunch is prepared just super fast all right so I got a question from the rookie driver on how my bicycle was mounted so there is I don't know if you can see it but that bar up there that comes on our Kenworths here at CFI um, I have a ratchet strap strapped around it holding it tightly to the bar and then I've got around focus around the front uh, wheel alignment whatever I have wrapped a cord to keep it still so it doesn't move um, and yeah there's no interference with the trailer whatsoever so uh, yeah but otherwise it's just wrapped around that it's wrapped around the body a couple of times and then wrapped around up under here um, I was just trying to keep this as close as possible to the frame um, and then I've got my bike lock going through that bar back there through the frame and then through the tire um, so that would be how that is mounted up there Whew. alrighty then so easiest way to clean this is to just send that right through there and then give her a nice little wipe down so that uh, you get everything off. Where did my paper towels go? Sorry, my allergies are bothering me. So, if I do that, I'm trying to suppress the sneeze, the sneeze. So, that was all that was. Alrighty. I will actually wash that with soap and water later. Just in case you were curious. Um, I'm not being lazy, despite popular opinion. I'm going to put a little bit of that, put a little dash of that, and go ahead and pop this back on here, and give this bad boy a wash. Why does that not look right? And now, we open up the side window, right here, and we can pour the dirty water out the side window. I usually pour it out the front window, but there's nobody parked next to us, so this, rinse it once, twice, three times for good measure. Doesn't really need to go for very long. It does quite a good job by itself. So, and 
And this time, I'm not going to use this, so I can go ahead and unplug that at this point. What are you muffing at, huh? What are you muffing at? I hear you muffin. This time, we're just going to rinse it with clean water. And that will be that. I do need to wipe down the sides of this, but that's it. So, you see, nice and clean. Wipe it down and she is good to go. And wipe down the rim rim of the blender to catch whatever got in between the two and to keep the uh, <coughs> dog hair from getting in this I usually have to dry this out by hand and uh, store the blender portion on top of the uh, um, the cup. That way, I don't get any dog hair in it. Otherwise, I have to clean it out. So, yep, that will go like that. I can close the side window in just a second. This go here. Otherwise, I'll be eating dog hairs. And this actually needs to go in here so that I don't eat dog hairs. I will wash that a bit better when I go take a shower tonight. Planning to stop at a Love's, but we'll see how far we get as opposed to how far we plan to get. I'm feeling quite ambitious today. I think I can do another 300 miles, but we'll see. We will see. Time will tell, right? Alright, go ahead and pop that over there. window. Just so you know, the dishes are in the dish tray, so I'm not just throwing random things in random places. Because sometimes people think I do that. It's quite strange, I think, how people don't trust me to know what I'm doing. And then again, sometimes it makes sense for people to not trust me. But I went ahead and picked this up. I'm going to give it to my parents. They'll be coming to Tennessee, um, uh, I think the first of next month, to take care of my sister's kitties while she's in Nashville for a little while. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Lord. Go ahead and plop this right up here. That's actually where I leave it right here when I'm cooking. Um, that way it doesn't kind of bounce around when I'm driving down the road and cooking because sometimes things take a little while to cook and it's just better to get it started during the day while you're driving so that when you park it's ready. Like chicken, it only takes like 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes to actually cook. It still has to uh, come to pressure and whatnot. And pasta, which we're going to try later on. Um, once we finish up the chicken that we have. That only takes uh, four minutes, I believe it was. So, all right, while it comes up there. All right, everything is secure. And um, picked up some new gloves because mine are no longer any good. All right, we're right, ready to hit the road. Everything's secure and ready to go. And we will see y'all later. Stay safe, stay beautiful.